Vaccine Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it looks like we're going to see one more chilly night than moderating temperatures as we finish out the week and getting spring like in the 10 day forecast before we see our next major cool front. And that's going to happen about a week from today. So put away the heavy coats, keep the light jackets and sweaters ready as we finish off the week. But as we head into the weekend, the afternoons, you'll be able to get away with short sleeves for sure during the day, despite cloud cover. So we'll talk more about that in just a bit. First off, big picture uh, outside coming at us from Justin Terro outside of Lafayette General looking down on college here and again uh, a lot of stratiform clouds, some breaks in those clouds and I expect more of the same tomorrow. In fact, uh, the next week to 10 days clouds are going to dominate more than any sunshine will on any given day. So be ready for that, but also milder temperatures as well. So let's kick it upstairs. Satellite imagery revealing those clouds caught in the subtropical jet stream. We'll get to that in just a bit. Meanwhile, that bitter cold, I got all the wind chill and uh, uh, super cold warnings and advisories going uh, across the Midwest. We'll get to those temperatures in just a bit, but locally uh, we've seen a few clouds, a few intervals of sun and even some precip showing on the radar with a little bit of a disturbance that's off to the north of us, uh, but it is so dry that this precipitation is not reaching the ground, so nobody's seeing any precipitation for the most part, maybe a sprinkle or two as we get just north of Point Coupee Parish, but like a misty sprinkle that you wouldn't really even detect and nothing that is wetting the ground. Now temperatures this morning in the mid 30s, the cloud cover really holding the temperatures up. So even though we got the tail end of that Arctic plunge, the real cold, cold air stayed well north of us and the clouds kept us from hitting the freezing mark in most spots this morning and this afternoon, lower 50s, currently sitting at 49 and Lafayette, upper 40s elsewhere as well and offshore staying on the choppy side that will continue as well. Bigger picture as we go off to the north of the bitterly cold air, in some cases record cold air, still sub zero readings from Minnesota into Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, Chicago at 15 below, sub zero in Detroit as well, sub zero in Pittsburgh and Buffalo, a balmy one degrees. But then you look at the wind chills, wind chills minus 20, minus 30, still common across the area, and still wind chills in the minus. 40 degree range across portions of Minnesota where wind chills last night got as cold as minus 64. Unbelievable. And it'll be interesting to see what the wind chills do later on tonight uh, once uh, we hit those nighttime hours. So we'll watch that later on tonight. Now for us, clouds sticking in. It's going to be chilly. Temperatures upper 30s to lower 40s. A little bit of a wind chill as breezy easterly winds with the cloud cover will conspire to keep any frost at bay for most spots. Uh, tomorrow, a chilly day, but it becomes mild in the afternoon. Temperatures low to mid 60s. Again, lots of cloud cover. A few breaks in the clouds from time to time, uh, but clouds dominating for the most part. Cool start Friday morning, but in the 50s, and then we get into the mid to upper 60s for Friday afternoon. Moving down the road as we head into the weekend, that'll be our best chance for scattered showers. Maybe a thunderstorm Saturday, Sunday, just cloudy skies and temperatures start pushing the 70s each and every day as we go through the week. And then eventually a uh, cold air mass comes in, but that won't be until toward the end of next week. So in the near term tonight, I think the model is going way too low on the temperatures, but we'll say mid 30s, maybe near freezing in Alexandria, but I'd add three to five degrees to these numbers uh, the way it's going in the northern parishes upper 30s lower 40s I 10 quarter and much the same along the coast as well and then after the chilly start tomorrow we get into the 60s for tomorrow afternoon and even milder as we head into Friday so another chilly night clouds and a little bit of a easterly breeze out there keeps frost away 39 the lowest will go 64 the high tomorrow with mostly cloudy skies again a few peaks of the sun and breezy east to southeast winds as we go down toward the weekend, rain chances Saturday at about 50 to 60 percent. The day won't be a washout, just scattered activity. And notice those temperatures milder and milder. Dare we say warm for this time of year. Once you're above 75 in early February, it's certainly considered warm. Mm -hmm. And then eventually we cool down late next week. All right. Thanks, Rob.